Feel free to move around carefully. However, please be aware of keeping the weight distribution the Please do not distract or walk past the pipe. Please note that smoking is not allowed, and please be careful not to drop anything over the side. Hold on tightly to the grab rails as we take off, or during any turbulence, and listen carefully for any safety announcements on your pilot during the flight. My name is, I'm an official Bournemouth tour guide, local historian and author, and my aim is to share with you the details and history of some of the sites you will see to the south, east, north and west. The S&D Leisure Bournemouth Balloon is a tethered pilot will be in control of these activities. The Bournemouth Balloon is 100 feet tall and has an envelope of 22 metres in diameter containing 6,000 cubic litres of helium. It will take us approximately four minutes to reach our maximum altitude of 500 feet, where, on a clear day, you can see for up to 25 miles. We rise and look below at Bournemouth, voted a few years ago by its residents in a national poll as the happiest town in Great Britain, something I've known for years. With its mild climate and its seven miles of golden sand beaches, all surrounded by acres of wonderful colours, Thomas Hardy described it well as a Mediterranean lounging place on the English Channel. Hopefully the weather is suitable today for you to appreciate how true this can be. Bournemouth is a relatively young town. In 2010, we celebrated our bicentenary in fine style. 200 years on from the first purchase of land in today's central Bournemouth area for residential purchase. The purchaser was North Harrison Captain Lewis Trevon, known today as the founder of Bournemouth, whose mansion, completed in 1812, is now part of the Royal Exeter Hotel, adjacent to our lovely lower gardens where you born. We will get a good view of the hotel later. Please look out to sea over Pool Bay, so named at a time when Bournemouth was insignificant. Due south is Bournemouth Pier, a useful reference point for this commentary. There has been a pier on this site since 1856. Today the pier offers a cafe restaurant and a good place to stroll around the sun and the view. A blue line cruises pleasure boat operates from the pier link with two dome towers. This is the ocean area, an aquarium containing marine species from around the world. To the right of the ocean area is a large red boat. This is the Bournemouth International Centre, also known as the BIC, which opened in 1984. <laughs> Tell you, I do some mad things, but this has got to be one of the best. It is cold up here. Is, we have now stopped, and this is five. What do you say? Five hundred feet. This is five hundred feet. I did ask what happened if the kid. 
cable snapped. And apparently they can let all the helium out. Oh. Where's the parachutes? <laughs> Bit bumpy there. <laughs> 
the Statue of Mary in Bournemouth, a magnificent form of air festival that takes place over four days every August. It's the largest completely free air show in Britain and attracts over 1.3 million visitors. Come along and see the red arrows fly over the Bournemouth. One of those Moving more down here than it was up there. <laughs> Thank you. 